Hello friends, welcome back. Today in this video, we will be interfacing a new analog to digital converter which is MCP3427. For more info about this sensor, let's go to controlleverything.com and here search for MCP3427. Here is our sensor. It is a 16 bit 2 channel analog to digital converter and some of its more features are mentioned here. You can also purchase this sensor from here. Today we will be interfacing the sensor with the Raspberry Pi and a Python code. So for that the main requirement is of a code. So click on resource tab and here you will find the code sample in different platform. Click on python code sample and you can download all the codes from here as a zip file. You can also download all the same codes from our github repository which is control everything community. Now we need some hardware equipment for our interfacing and working of the sensor. Let's move to that part. In hardware connections part, first thing we need is a Raspberry Pi. And these are the GPIO pins of a Raspberry Pi. Now this is an I2C shield. The shield is available on controleverything.com and you can purchase it from there. The reason behind using this is to make connections with other I2C devices easy. So gently place this over the GPIO pins and make a connection like this. Now to power up a Pi, we need a micro SD cable and gently insert this in the power jack of the Pi. To provide an internet connection to the Pi, we have two options. Firstly, we can use the ethernet or LAN cable like this and insert it in the ethernet jack of the Pi. The second option is a wireless nano USB adapter and insert this in the USB jack of the Pi. You can choose either of the options, the choice is yours. This is our sensor MCP3427 and this here is a connecting cable. Connect the sensor with connecting cable like this and while making connections, please make sure brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground of the sensor. And the same rule applies to the I2C sheet. With this, we are done with the hardware part. Now let's move to the interfacing and working of the sensor. For the interfacing of the sensor, first of all, we need to log in github.com. And here we have to search for the repository which is control everything community. And here search for the sensor MCP3427. Here is our sensor. And this is the Python code. But first, let's check the instructions we have to follow. We have to download and install the SMS library on our Raspberry Pi and step to install the SMS library are given on this link. Please go through this link, note down all the relevant steps to install the SMS library and please do it carefully. After that, we have to download or git pull the code and this is the command for running our python code. Now let's get back to the code. This is our python code with .py extension, click on it. And this is the code. First of all, in the code, we have imported SMS library and time library here. In the writing part, we have sent configuration command 0x10 in which we have selected continuous conversion mode, channel 1 and 12 bit of resolution. After that, we have read 2 bytes of data from the register 0x00 which is raw ADC MSB and raw ADC LSB. Later on, we have converted the data to 12 bits according to the formula given in the data sheet of the MCP3427. Finally, we have output data to screen with this command. And with this, we are done with the interfacing part. Now let's move to the working and see how the sensor performs. For the working of the sensor, first of all, we need to copy the entire Python code. And then we have to open the terminal here. Create a new file with the name mcp3427. Then paste the code here and then save it. Now we have to run the python code with the command given in the instructions. And you can see the initial output is 0 because nothing is connected to the channel 1 of the sensor. But when I connect a 1.5 volt of battery cell to the sensor, you can see the output is now 1311. And it is almost constant because uh, the cell is connected continuously. So this is how the sensor works. Now let's see the application and features of this sensor. The sensor is a 16 bit analog to digital converter with differential inputs. It is a low noise and high accuracy 16 bit delta sigma analog to digital converter. 
It is the family member of MCP342X series from the microchip technology. The device can output analog to digital conversion results at rate of 15, 60 or 240 samples per second depending on the user controllable configuration bit settings. The device have two conversion modes, one shot conversion mode and continuous conversion mode. The application includes portable instrumentation and consumer goods, temperature sensing with RTD and thermocouple, bridge sensing for pressure, strain and force, base scales and battery fuel gauges, factory automation equipment and many more like this. This sensor can be purchased from our website that is controlleverything.com. You can download the code from the source type and after that as a zip file. Also, you can have the code from our GitHub repository which is Control Everything Community. In the end, I would like to clear, if you have any further queries regarding the interfacing and working of the sensor, you can reach us on controlleverything.com and you can also post comments on our community page. For articles and blogs on various sensors like this, you can look us on instructable.com and you can subscribe our YouTube channel for more video tutorials like this. In the end, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day.